Okay, super quick video on absolute references, what they are and how you use them and why you would use them. Um, so I've got this uh, spreadsheet here. I've got employee IDs and their titles and their pay rates. And I wanna figure out the new rate. Everyone is getting a 3% raise. Um, so we wanna figure out what their new pay rate is going to be. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a formula in here, so equals C2 times, open parentheses, 1 plus F2, times, not and, C2 times 1 plus F2, and equals Hit enter. All right. Oh, let's format this as a currency. There we go. Uh, so 1611. Now I auto fill my formula. And uh, that is not right. These are the same value. So what's going on? Um, so I what I need to do is when I auto filled, uh, because Excel is so helpful, it said, okay, so you must want cell C3 times 1 plus F3. And here it said, oh, you must want cell C4 times 1 plus F4. So these have no values. So to fix this, we just make this absolute. To make it absolute means you put a dollar sign in front of whatever uh, access you want to stay permanent. You don't want this to move no matter where. I copy or paste uh, or autofill this formula, this this access, either this row or this column is not going to move. So I do put the dollar sign in front of two because no matter where I copy this formula, I want to keep looking at row two. And now when I autofill this, there we go. Now let's, now just for hex and giggles, so if we copy this over to a new column, now it's looking at, now it moved everything over one column, right? It moved our, uh, moved us from C to D and from F to G. So if we wanted to make that F absolute two, we could do this. And now when we copy this column, there we go. Now we've got D two times F two because we made F. Absolute. So absolute references mean that no matter where you copy or paste this cell, that access, either that row or that column, whichever one you put the dollar sign in front of, that is not going to update. That's going to stay the same.